Hello and welcome. I'm Lime Wedge Lodge and I'm here with the week 13 playoff machine. Last week I did questionably, you know, but going about, I don't know how well I did, I honestly didn't look. That gets annoying. Stupid food. But, um, I didn't look how I did, so I'm assuming I've got about half of them what right, which is about right. And I still haven't uploaded the last one. Even though the week's already over. Oh well, I'm going to upload this one, hopefully tonight. And go ahead and get it out of the way. And that way, all my predictions will be up before the week happens, even though I did the other one before last week started. But anyway, on to the picks. First, let the Turkey Day games. Right, right now, the Lions, you just can't go with the Packers with their quarterback. I know the Lions played terribly against Tampa Bay, but... The, 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 the Packers quarterback right now still isn't even as good as Mike Glenn in last week, so quarterbacks are huge in the NFL for some reason. Uh, Raiders at Cowboys. It, it pains me to pick the Cowboys, but I gotta pick the Cowboys. The Raiders aren't playing too consistently, and the Cowboys looked semi-good last week. And then the last Turkey Day game is the Ravens and Steelers. This matchup could really go either way. But the Ravens are a much better home team, and I think they'll take this one. And as you can see, they pop in there. Unless the Titans win this week, woo, they're facing the Colts, I doubt it. The Jaguars and the Browns. The Browns are incompetent. The Jaguars are... The, the Jaguars are actually looking competent, which is amazing. Tennessee and Indianapolis. Tennessee almost got them last week, but... Tennessee barely squeaked by Oakland last week, so I'm not on their bandwagon. After a bad game, the Colts have to have a good game. That's usually how it works with the Colts. Hopefully. Don't make me look bad again, Indianapolis. And now, the Bears and the Vikings. I want to be like, oh, last week's Bears thing was a fluke. You know, the Bears got crushed by the Rams. But, as I want to say it's a tie. I want to say the Vikings are just going to tie everyone. But, I really don't think the Bears have got it together. I'm going to give this one to the Vikings and say the Bears need this week to sort out any cobwebs. Too bad it'll pretty much be too late for their pay playoff hopes. Oh, the Dolphins at the Jets. The Jets looked completely incompetent, but they were on the road where they are incompetent. I'm going to give the Jets the benefit of the doubt, not that they deserve it. Uh, Cardinals and Eagles. This one's one of the hardest ones. Uh, you probably can't see half of this either because I didn't fix this either. Eagles are bad at home. Cardinals are bad on the road. I'm going to say the Eagles are improved and give it to them. I'm not sure about that. No. Mm. Really not sure about that. Most of the home teams have won, and that trend will continue as the Panthers outplay the Buccaneers. It's going to be a lot closer than I will like, but still. Patriots, Falcons continue to play better. The Bills fall apart in the second half of the season. After that amazing win last week, I want to say the Rams, but against so-so opponents, the 49ers are amazing. So... I'm going to have to go with the 49ers there. Broncos at Chiefs. The Chiefs, I think, played like they are last week. They played as good as they actually are against the Chargers. They had a few bad moments, but the Broncos was a fluke. The way they played against the Patriots, you can't question that. I'm going to give the Chargers the benefit of the doubt here. They're getting the benefit of the doubt over the Bengals, who don't deserve the benefit of the doubt either. Neither of these teams really do, but one team has to win. Giants at Redskins. One of these teams has to win as well, and I'm going to thank the Giants get back on the winning ways. Uh, this one comes down to the home team. The home team just has to win that game. Jaguars take down the Texans again. And just saying, if the Jack and Phil Jaguars win out, they could, in theory, make the playoffs. I don't think that's going to happen, but still. Do I give the Colts the benefit of the doubt, or the Bengals? 
Uh, I am going to give it to the Colts. Not that I trust them not to blow it. But they should win that game. Should. I'm going to assume Aaron Rodgers can start. And that they'll win because Aaron Rodgers is able to start. Not confident about that. And even if he does start, if he's not 100%, the Falcons could take it. But I don't trust the Falcons either. So I'm assuming Rodgers will be competent enough. The Browns are the Browns. Enough said. I'm, 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 I'm hating myself for this, but the Jets are at home giving them the benefit of the doubt. Lions at Eagles. Oh, two teams that could really blow it. Two teams that could really blow it. I'm meh, begrudgingly giving the Eagles the benefit of doubt because the Lions are able to squander it a lot. Uh, Steelers, I want to say do it because they're at home. And I'm going to say Steelers. Okay, the Beals and the Buccaneers. Buccaneers playing a lot better. Gave it to the Bucks. Chiefs versus Redskins, no brainer. Oh. Vikings are playing better, but Ravens are the defending champions. They get a little bit more of the benefit of the doubt. And that would put the Ravens in the first place in that division. Right now, my NFC East has better records than the um, AFC North, which is shocking. Tennessee's playoff hopes are pretty much over at this point. Five and eight. Yeah. Sorry, Titans fans. Enjoy it while it lasts this week. The Rams. Yeah, they're a nice team, but I think the Cardinals will take one take this one at home. Hanging around in the playoff race. Chargers or Giants. Uh Two quarterbacks who have a tendency to flop. Well, uh, I would say that the Chargers have been flopping a little less this season. Give them the benefit of the doubt, even though they really don't deserve it, especially not twice in a row. Twice in a row? I thought I was on the third week already. Oh, wait. oh well, I'm crazy. The, um... I've been keeping up on my sporty shows, and the 49ers have a terrible record against teams with a um, good record. So I'm going to give it to the Seahawks. I, you know, I just, I don't have the faith in the 49ers to win it, especially if it's a close one. I think Russell Wilson will more or less run them over, and the 49ers offense just won't keep up against that Seahawks defense. Like I did last week, I'm going to give the Panthers and Saints the split. And then, oh, Cowboys at Bears. I'm going to say the Bears have got over their own woes and are going to take it at home. I can't believe I just said that. I want to be like, oh, the Chargers. Look at them Chargers. They're going to take it against Denver like they did Kansas City. But I believe Denver is their superior team, and that will show. I believe the Bears will get back in their winning ways. The da Bears. Cardinals and Titans. Uh, Cardinals take it. I just don't. The Titans, they're floundering at this point. They just, they can play, but they can't play on the other hand. I want to call the upset here, but just simply because the Colts would probably overlook them and the Texans win. Which I wouldn't be shocked if that happens. The Rams, I would say they're prone for an upset in this situation, but I still have to give it to the Saints. You'll probably hear me say that for the next two weeks after week four or after week thirteen and after week fourteen. Probably hear me say a lot of the same things, unless teams big injuries happen or something. Patriots are the Patriots. Dolphins will give them a show, but nothing big. Road Warrior Eagles, this is less of a brainer for me. Seahawks at Giants. Giants disappoint their home crowd. 49ers at Buccaneers. At this point, like I've said the past few weeks, 
I want to give the Buccaneers the benefit of the doubt and say, oh, Buccaneers, look at them on their hot streak, thinking they're somebody. But they were just so mediocre. They cannot get over that mediocre, and I'm going to give it to San Francisco. That matchup may change over the next couple weeks, depending on how both teams play. Jaguars, uh, just because the Bills, I don't trust the Bills, and I'm actually trusting the Jaguars. I know that's crazy, and I know you may discredit me, but I trust the Jaguars to beat other mediocrity. They have confidence, and confidence does amazing things for football teams. Kansas City, Jets on the road, Jets are going to fail epically just because they're the Jets and they're on the road. Packers at Cowboys, by this point, the Packers are back on track, and they beat the Cowboys. Aaron Rodgers is being Aaron Rodgers, and such and such. Steelers at home. I keep looking at this. I know I do, but I like the Steelers at home. I don't like the Bengals on the road. And by this point, the Steelers have the last wild card spot. That is the AFC you're living in, the completely crazy six seed. Ooh, Bengals at Lions. I don't I don't know how I feel about this. Uh one and five on the road and three and two at home. I giving the Lions the home field advantage and just simply because of that reason. Even though that might change as well, depending on how either competent or incompetent both teams look. I uh, the Beals their second half of the season is always terrible. I'm going to say the Bengals do not completely just lose out. They'll get a win here and just like that they're back in the fourth seed. I want to say Indianapolis but no. Just no. Kansas City at home. Indianapolis will flounder like normal. Buccaneers at Rams. I say the Rams pull one out like they did against the um, Bears last week. Browns at Jets. Sorry Browns, you're the Browns again. Bears at Eagles. I'm going to say the Bears have the advantage here. They take it. Uh, Redskins are playing terribly. Cowboys. I said I was going to give them the split, and there's the other half of the split. Ta oh, Titans. Poor Titans. Not that that even matters anymore. The, uh, Broncos. I'm going to say the Lions at home. That could change, like I said, depending on how two, the two teams are playing at that point. Oh, sorry, Cardinals. They're more or less go your playoff hopes. Steelers at Packers. Sorry, Steelers. There goes more or less your season. Chargers win this one. Ooh, Patriots at Ravens. Patriots don't have a great road record. I'm going to say the Ravens say they need a win. The Ravens get a win. Ooh, look at how that changed the tiebreaker. And 49ers at home. Falcons can beat them, but I don't think so. Panthers at Falcons. I'm going to give it to the Panthers. At this point, the Packers are behind the Bears. And I don't know how this would work out with the tie because the tie completely throws me off. If the Packers win and the uh, Lions lose, based on my math, that would mean the Packers would get in the playoffs. The Packers are better than Da Bears with Aaron Rodgers healthy at this point, and I don't know how Cutler will be. I don't think it will matter because Aaron Rodgers at his best is Aaron Rodgers. So there, the Packers pull out in the second, and they could have the division if the pa if the Lions lose. Uh, undefeated at home. I know I probably gave them a loss somewhere in there, but. The Ravens are terribly inconsistent, and at that point, there you go, Bengals win. Road Warrior Eagles, because just showing you, I'm not choosing them. That would mean the Cowboys are getting the playoffs, but I believe the Road Warrior Eagles will go into Cowboys Stadium and win. Titans, just because the Texans look so terrible. 
and Colts just because if New England loses, I think, yeah, Indianapolis would have the tiebreaker. I do believe the Jets are the Jets go on the road, completely fall apart, and there are the Dolphins. Too bad for the Packers, the Lions, I assume, are playing like the good Lions again, and the Packers barely, barely, barely miss out on the playoffs. Aw, oh, poor Packers. Patriots at home. Saints at home. They need that win. So they get it because even though the Buccaneers can do it, I have a lot of faith in the Buccaneers, which is strange as well. Giants end the season on a win. Hopefully can save Tom Coughlin's job. The Steelers get to 8-8. Eight eight. The, um... Well, let's see how this would work, just because to see if Kansas City would even play their starters. No, they wouldn't. So, Denver, even with the loss, they wouldn't play their starters. Oakland wins. Because, you know, why would they play their starters? And then, based on that, uh, Kansas City, even with the win, couldn't advance themselves. They don't play their starters, and thus, hand the last playoff spot to the Chargers, which makes sense, which is strange that I'm saying it. 49ers at Cardinals. Let's look at this. 49ers are fairly good on both home and road, but they're they're just not great against good teams, and I'm ranking the Cardinals there. Too bad, it doesn't matter. Tiebreaker still gives it to the 49ers, evidently. Which means the 49ers probably wouldn't have played their starters anyway. And the Cardinals would have won either way. Oops. And simply the Seahawks don't need that. They don't care. They lose. They may not even care last week. Who did they play last week? The Cardinals. Which, if the Cardinals had beat them, that would have made the game a lot more meaningful. Because they could have afforded two losses. But would they have really not played their guys for three weeks in a row because one, two, and bye week? I don't think so, so I'm still giving it to the Seahawks. But that one right there is up in the air, so I'll leave you with that. I hope you enjoyed my power ranking sort of thing. Not really power rankings as much as how I think teams are going to do, but unfortunately, I do not really account for upsets. I'm just like, oh, well, he's kind of there, he's kind of there. Maybe a little upset here, maybe a little upset there. Because, like, the Ravens beating the Patriots was a little upset, in my opinion. But how would these playoffs look to you? Oh, I almost forgot to go through the playoffs with this. Okay, starting in the AFC. At this point, the... Indianapolis Colts are haphazard steel. They never got their act 100% together. Chargers upset them. Uh, Chiefs go into Cincinnati, who's really good at home, but the Chiefs are like, this is our year! And Andy Dalton raises more questions as he flounders around in the backfield. Literally, he's on the ground a lot because of that Chiefs defense. That leaves uh, San Diego going to Denver and Kansas City going to New England. I'm going to go ahead and do the AFC first. The Chargers go to the Broncos. The Broncos are all full of hype, but the Chargers say this is our year. Phillip Rivers says this is my year. Phillip Rivers upsets Denver after squeaking in the playoffs. Kansas City goes into New England. And they have... Oh my, stupid fooey, I do not like you. I should have ended it while ago without the playoffs. I don't understand why it does that. It doesn't do that for most anything else. Oh, anyway, Kansas City goes into New England. It's a lot like the Denver-New England game, except this time, Kansas City comes out on top, setting up for a San Diego at Kansas City, in which Philip Rivers outduels Alex Smith in what's a point-scoring fest, and a rematch in which turns out a lot like the original match. Sending up for San Diego, sitting in the Super Bowl. 
Everyone's stunned that San Diego's in the Super Bowl. I'm even stunned, and I came up with it. San Francisco at Philadelphia. San Francisco, like I keep saying, has the trouble against decent to good teams. The Eagles and Nick Foles will have a miraculous performance, and the Eagies win it. 5 seed Carolina goes into 4 seed Detroit, and the Panthers defense turns Detroit into cheese. Get it? Cheese? Packers? Detroit fans aren't laughing at that. The Panthers advance. Panthers go to Seahawks. Eagles go to Saints. This is extremely difficult for me because I remember at the beginning of the year when the Panthers weren't playing great. Neither were the Seahawks for that matter. And the Panthers still almost beat them. But Seattle's at home this time. And unfortunately for my Panthers, I have to give it to Seattle. Seattle has a little bit better offense and defense, and they're both a little more consistent. Unless Cam Newton truly evolves into Superman over the next few weeks, I wouldn't see the Panthers winning this game, but they'll be close. Now, this is one of the ones, the unstoppable force versus the immovable object. Not just immovable, immovable. The Road Warrior Eagles go into the home-clad Saints. Saints are firmly entrenched, and the Eagles are coming in with a head of steam. Who wins this? I really don't know. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Nick Foles. Will Nick Foles go into Super Saiyan mode, or will he go into lame duck mode? Get it? Chip Kelly, ducks, stupid fooey, stupid thing. See? Ha ha ha. And... No, the ducks will fly high, and by ducks I mean eagles. Chip Kelly and his eagle-duck-mutant hybrid. If they, if they win the Super Bowl, I want them to name rename the team, instead of the Philadelphia Eagles, the Chip Kelly Super Eagle Hybrid something ducky. I don't even remember what junk I'm saying. So it will be Eagles at Seattle in the NFC Championship game. And this is another tough matchup. I say, this is where Nick Foles makes a repeat performance. He makes the Seattle defense look silly. So it's essentially a shootout. And anyone knows, you do not go into a shootout with Goku. He literally cannot lose. That's how the storyline goes. I mean, I, I don't come up with the Dragon Ball Z storyline. The Eagles are clearly Goku and his Merry Men. That's the right series, right? Go Goku and Merry Men. Don't show me this message again. I don't know why I didn't click that while ago. I'm an idiot. Yes, I'm saying Goku and his merry men, and I say I'm an idiot to the thing that pops up on the screen. Hardy har har. So that leads in Eagles and Chief, Chiefs. Not even Chiefs. Ha ha ha. Eagles and Chargers. They both start with a C. Char, Chief. There, yeah, kind of. Give me a break. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. I told myself I was going to bed over an hour ago. So, fooey on you for criticizing me. I say the Eagles and Chargers will play in the Super Bowl. And by dingy, the Eagles and Chargers will play in the Super Bowl, if only in my head. And this will be Nick Foles saying, I'm Nick Foles. I'm here in Philadelphia. Versus, whereas Nick Foles will be a little bit too complacent and nervous. Philip Rivers is like, my, your time is up, my time is now. It's the franchise that's shining now. You can't see me, my time is now. As the Chargers go into John Cena mode. And everyone knows the only one who can beat Goku is John Cena. Don't question it, just go along with it. John Cena delivers an attitude adjustment to Goku. John Cena la locks in the STF and Goku... Explodes in the energy and John Cena wins by explosion. I don't make up the rules, I just make them up. I thank you for watching. I'm Lemon Witch Loge. If you enjoyed this insanity, I don't know how I should take that. I would recommend seeing a psychiatrist because this is very, very strange. And I don't, I'm, I'm not sure what's going on anymore. And there's a replay of the Heat and Cavaliers on ESPN and I still have it on for some reason. Don't ask me why, I know how it ends. LeBron James. How dare you leave Cleveland, LeBron. John Cena didn't leave Boston. Or did he?
West Newberry. Boston or West Newberry? He's a Patriots fan, Steel, and you, you, you. Why am I going with this? That's not even the right sport. LeBron James scores a goal on Cristiano Ronaldo uh, while cutting all the Cleveland fans with his skates to the heart, which is what he did. Except it's basketball and not soccer slash football. Whatever, wherever you're from, I don't know why you would consider that football if you're watching a football video. How about you shut up, Lime Witch? That's a good idea. I thank you for watching and have a happy Thanksgiving because this is on Thanksgiving. And if it's another day, have a happy other day if you're watching this on some other day. I don't see where you watch this much later than it's posted. Shut up, Joel. Thank you, Joel. Goodbye, Joel. Goodbye, Joel.